Adam's optimism should be infectious, but over the years, Jamie's built up a natural resistance. According to the clip, this is all about the shoe. They're hydrophobic, which means they repel water. And we've got the same type of shoe, and they do seem to repel water. Whether that translates to me being able to run across a lake or something, let's just say I think I'm going for a swim. According to the viral video, Jamie needs to hit the water at speed, and the turf should ensure traction right down to the lake's edge. You know, in the clip, they talk significantly about the curve that you enter the water in, like on a long arc, and about believing. You believe you, you, believe you can do it? I'm right there, you know me. <laughs> All right. Our first splash test dummy takes a fittingly zen-like approach to the challenge ahead. It may not look like it, but uh, this is me stretching, getting all pumped up and in the zone. In seconds, Jamie's going to try exactly what we see the runners do in the video. I think we're gonna end up with one soggy Heinemann in the water. All right, here we go. Uh, uh, so much for focus, but maybe it does all come down to self-belief. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> or maybe not. Ugh. These shoes don't repel water well enough to keep me on top of the water. I just sort of ran into the water and that's all there is to it. <laughs> all right, come on out. I want to give it a shot. So, any words of advice? Keep your mouth closed. It's sort of like you've je de duck poop in there. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no problem. Adam's instincts tell him a longer run-up might yield a better result. OK, I'm ready. In three, two, one, go. You really can't fault the execution. In fact, Adam's effort looked just like the ones in the video, except for the end bit. Oh, this water's disgusting. So uh, did you feel like you were on top of the water? I mean, because you didn't really look like it. I felt like I was getting some good leg motion, like pat, pat, pat on the ground. And then my foot hit the water, and it just kept going. Well, apparently the technique it does take some getting used to, so I'm going to give it another go. Knock yourself out. They both decide to continue the testing, desperate to take at least one step on water. This continues to not work. Every single attempt ends with a splash and a crash. Well, that was a spectacular failure. Yeah, these shoes are going to have to have a lot more going for them than water repellents for that to work. Yeah, true enough. <laughs> now to a myth that takes self-preservation to its natural conclusion. All right, so as you guys know, and you guys definitely know, we have tested a ton of myths where we have taken everyday objects to see if they're bulletproof. Like laptops, sheriff badges. Yep. And we've also done an episode on what is supposedly stab-proof. Like money. Exactly, but you know what? This one is gonna trump them all. We are taking everyday objects to see if they're bomb-proof. And those everyday objects, as suggested by you, the fans, are a table, a car, a wall, and a dumpster. All four inspired by Hollywood. It's the kind of stuff you see all the time in action movies. Moments before a bomb blast, the hero leaps to safety behind a parked car. The heroine is just close enough to reach that cinder block wall. Or the sidekick, who's still got a snappy line or two left in him, finds refuge in the refuse. But we want to know if any of these suburban shields could really save your bacon.